Hello and welcome to this one-off video where we will be looking at the basics of PoE and network hardware. PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. This is a technology that allows network cables such as Cat5e or Cat6 to carry electrical power, meaning that both data and power can be carried down one cable. PoE is popular as it is simple to use and cost effective, eliminating the need for additional cables and power supplies. There are a variety of devices that can be powered by PoE. It's important to keep in mind that each device will take a different amount of power and you should check your devices before installation. Typically, standard IP cameras need 13 watts or less, PTZ cameras may need 30 watts, door access systems 60 watts, computer monitors 100 watts, and large TVs as much as 200 watts. You may want your PoE devices to be part of your home network, and there are a range of network hardware devices out there that help make this possible. It can be hard to know which device is the correct choice for each job, so we hope to help make things a little clearer in the following slides. Almost everyone will have a router in their home, as it is the key to accessing the internet on devices such as laptops and mobile phones. A router manages your network and internet connection. It is the main building block of any network system and will connect devices within a building. A PoE switch is designed to provide more physical ports so it is possible to expand your network easily. The great thing about PoE switches is that they can be daisy chained so there is no limit to the number of switches or to the size of your network. Each switch is different. They come in a variety of sizes with a differing number of ports. Also, some will provide PoE power while others won't. Here is an example system showing how PoE switches may be used. In building 1 there is a router connected to a PoE switch. This switch is connected to an IP camera and computer. Using network cable, the switch in building 1 is connected to a second switch in building 2. This switch is powering a number of IP cameras, a VoIP phone, and is also connected to a final switch in building 3. In building 3, there is one other VoIP phone and a network video recorder which is then powering three final IP cameras. This example shows how switches can be daisy chained and how useful they are in expanding your network. Next, we'll take a look at wireless bridges. A wireless bridge, sold in pairs, is designed to connect two networks together over Wi-Fi. They are most commonly used when networks are divided geographically and need to be joined to be part of one single network. For example, two offices in different buildings may use wireless bridges. In building one is the main router with a switch and a collection of computers. In this building is also the first wireless bridge. In building two is the second wireless bridge along with a second switch connected to more computers. The networks in these buildings are now combined to be part of one single network. Another common network hardware device is a PoE injector. PoE injectors are small devices that are designed to add power to an Ethernet cable. They are commonly used to provide power to one device such as a CCTV camera. They are available with a variety of power budgets. Some will provide 30 watts or above for cameras that need PoE+. Another network device that may be needed in your system is a PoE extender. The nominal maximum leg length of network cable from the PoE source is 100 meters. An extender is designed to extend an Ethernet signal beyond its usual 100 meter limitation. Extenders are typically used when there is a PoE switch or MVR inside that needs to be connected to a PoE camera, which may be more than 150 meters away in a shed or garage. Power line adapters are used to turn your home or office's electrical wiring into a network. They are used in pairs and are designed to extend an Ethernet network connection to another room via wall sockets. These are useful in situations where it's not easy or may not be possible to run network cables from room to room. In this example, we are looking at two rooms in a house. In the first room is a router along with a computer. The router and computer are connected to the first power line adapter. In the next room is a second power line adapter connected to a VoIP phone. There is also a PoE injector connected to a camera, as the power line adapters don't provide power, they are just designed to extend your network. A router is the device that manages your network and internet connection. It's a crucial device in any system. A PoE switch is a device that provides more physical ports to add devices to your network. A wireless bridge connects two networks together over Wi-Fi. A PoE injector adds power to an Ethernet cable. An extender is used to extend an Ethernet signal beyond its usual 100 meter limitation. 
And finally, a power line adapter is used to turn your home's electrical wiring into a network. Thank you for watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please do by clicking here. Check the description below for links to our Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus feeds. Follow the link for our webshop and if you want more videos like this, click the playlist. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.